Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we are back with another Let's Play Franchise Mode episode. And we're looking at the beautiful Siberian tigers. And in the last episode, we were trying to save our zoo from ba going bankrupt, and um, bleh, it worked, but uh, I had to remove the polar bears, and I feel super sad about it. I first started with removing the male one, and then the feed, like like the food per tray, the, the cost per tray, were going from 15,000 to 5,000, but still we had a lot of cause because of the electricity and also people getting super unhappy because of all the litter here and my caretaker just didn't clean it unless I put him here. So I was like, ah, oh, it's driving me nuts. And uh, yeah, it just proves that a polar bear probably in the beginning of a very small zoo is not really the best thing to go for. So I still have the male, no, I still have the female and the baby right in here. So when the time is right, we hopefully are able to get back the polar bears in this habitat and then we're gonna make it nice and beautiful and, and put back all the electricity because it's it's like looking really bad right now it's really terrible but also i did a lot of other stuff so i trained like a lot of staff i trained a lot of staff you guys gave me like a lot of that feedback like you really need to train your staff so that's what i did i removed i f fired uh, a few of my staff too so uh, I think everything is now really running well. We have 82% of guest happiness. We almost have five stars of a zoo reputation even. And I did got like a few small habitats. So I got like, I think the giant or the algebra giant told us here. Uh, can I see the other oh, Galapagos one? And right over here we have the uh, algebra den. Yeah. So these are all temporarily, but I just really wanted to have, yeah, well, a few more animals to attract some more people. And the tortoise has a pretty high appealing rate. Uh, so yeah, this, this was kind of to try and save my zoo. What is going on? Why are you going to die on me right now? Please, I'm so happy that we're able to. Oh, oh no. Oh, this is so sad. Oh my goodness. Rest in peace, Rem. I feel so sorry for you. We're gonna call it fad. Um, you died of old age, which is really good. I'm not really sure though if we still have the other to move in here. Okay, so we have Lee Thai Doll still in here, and I think I got these new guys. So Embrace and Everny. I'm not really sure. If you guys are already named so I actually want to look into that in the next episode I want to do a lot of naming in the next episode but for now I just really want to keep our zoo going and expand it a little bit more so I already got the reindeers I got a few reindeers I had to refresh a lot because there are not that many reindeers in the as you can see these are the reindeers and there's just not that much and the frontier zoo only gives like females for some reason at least for the last 10 minutes and i was trying to get a male in and i in the end i bought like a super expensive male from someone but it had good stats so silver stats so hopefully that will be all right with the three females i have right now uh so yeah i'm just going to build a reindeer habitat in this episode because i am really looking forward to do that and to see the reindeers finally because i had no chance yet to ever see them in the game so I'm really excited for that but just one more thing like uh, I'm actually not really happy with the amount of shops I had to put down like we have shops here in the entrance we have shops right over here we have shops right over here and we have shops right over here like it's way too many in my opinion but it, I guess it works right now it's not even that busy so hopefully we can reduce it so what I'm actually thinking is to try and hide some shops. So we have like these underwater 
underwater underground viewing galleries right over here and we have one right over here so what i'm actually thinking is in a later stage to uh, try to hide them away underneath the ground so that it doesn't really annoy me that much because like everything is way too busy in my opinion right now but we need the shops because the people get unhappy because if they can't get any food or drinks they will get unhappy they will get refunds and we just don't want that so as you can see right now uh, i have a lot of staff wages that really went up but uh, we don't have that much refunds anymore which is really great the animal food got reduced like a lot so that is really good and what else like the electricity where is that power costs so the power costs also went down a lot so we are having a very nice profit now so in the next episode we can really finally do some really pimping of these areas i really want to focus on that like very soon to really make this look nice and pretty because right now i'm just really unhappy with how all these paths look we might want to make them bigger and bigger areas for the people to sit down bigger areas for the people to rock from one side to another side so yeah there's just a lot of stuff to do and we really want to focus on that to make it nice and pretty because this is really uh, it's itchy i can't help it it's it's no it's just not good like i really love this bongo habitat we did like this is the pimp the first pimp we did but there's so much stuff to do and we never got to it because we didn't have money. But right now we're doing really well with the money. And the reindeers don't need a big space. So the reindeers only need like 370 square meters. So I think that's going to be really fine. So I just really am excited to look at those guys. And where shall we build a habitat? I think we're going to build a habitat right in this middle section. So we have a path on this side and a path on this side. And hopefully we will get back some more people to these shops and to spend some money. Uh, and, and we'll just leave some space so we can expand this river section in a later stage and we can have a nice restaurant area probably somewhere over here. So we're gonna build it right over here and without further talking just let's start building.
So here we have basically the beginning of our habitat of the reindeers. Obviously, we have to do still the decorating of this backstage area. I want to hide it away a little bit more probably with some more trees and stuff. So we have a viewing platform right over here. They have a cave right over here where they can uh, have a nice nap or anything like that. They can have a nice swim right over here. I actually wanted to have like a raised platform over here but if you have seen the speed build it was just not possible for some reason and i was like oh okay i was a little bit frustrated so i just stopped and i was like okay i'm gonna make something nice out of this in a later stage like i'm not really sure yet and uh yeah i like the trees and stuff it's more dense and especially with the mossy i think it's called moss caribou moss and i I really feel it works. It's a pity that the reindeers are not able to walk here. Um, I I was expecting, at least hoping them to just walk through it or just over it, but for some reason they don't, which is really sad because I think it really would be awesome if they would just walk through it. But they still have like enough, they have like three times more space than they would need. So that is really incredible, even though it feels not even that big for some reason. So I don't really know what that is. But let's just have a look at them because, oh my goodness, they are super cute. And really beautiful, well made. And really like, yeah, I'm just gonna stand here. I don't have anything else to do. <laughs> but they are absolutely gorgeous and they have super cute eyes. Like because of their they're so big, they look so friendly. That's really cool. Oh, I love them. They're really pretty. Like is this okay, this is the male, and then we have the females. Are you guys still able to go inside of here i wonder okay that should be fine how is the heart shelter doing heart shelter is 100 percent everything for the terrain is perfectly fine coverage they really like a lot of trees and stuff that's why i went for this more forced feeling and hopefully you guys are happy with it you don't have any opinion yet about the reindeer habitat i see can't believe I'm in the snow leopard habitat. Oh gosh, okay. I think that's what it said. It went too quick. But I'm really happy with these guys. They're super pretty. The females are a little bit more slim comparing to the male. And you can have like a very big herd of them. If I remember correctly, you can have a pretty big group, like 12, which would be really awesome. Oh gosh, the Galapagos tortoise is getting offspring. Oh my goodness. Reduce crime. We have a reward. That's amazing. Thank you. Oh, but uh, I didn't expect them to be like super lazy. Can I say that? <laughs> They're just standing here not doing anything. Are you guys happy with the enrichment? Yes, you are. Lost meal quality. Yes, we need to do some research. Okay, so let's do some research for you. Oh, they're looking so friendly. Those eyes, they're super beautiful. Oh my goodness. You are really pretty. I really hope we will see some babies soon. That will be really amazing. I really do hope that people will not complain about them. I really love them. They're so gorgeous. Wow. And I'm really happy with how this one has turned out, even though obviously we're not finished yet. We need to do a lot of stuff. Like, I want to see if I need more space maybe for the restaurant here, because we want to have like an extra path going on here so we can add some more picnic benches and stuff so we really can make it separate from the main path because it's it's when you have so many queue lines it's gonna be too busy and that's the reason why i wanted to have like an extended viewing platform instead of like having this as a viewing platform because that is gonna be super busy oh oh balloon pop <laughs> 
This is really cool. Oh, I really hope we can have like a big herd. Imagine if all three females will get like a cute little baby very soon. That will be super amazing. I would love to see that. I really love this mossy feeling. That's so good. I really like that. Um, okay, so someone was growing up, if I remember correctly, but it's not in the timeline right now. Rainy has arrived, Wanda has offspring. Bongo is expecting offspring. Timberwolf died. Ah, oh, that's so sad though. I oh, I really feel sad about Timberwolves dying. Like, how is it possible to get like a big herd if they die too soon? I'm really curious if we are able to get in a big herd. Oh well, that's not going to work if all these animals are boxed here. So we have Kuyana. We will do the naming in the next episode, as I mentioned. Um, so we have packmates right over here. And who are your parents? So Rem and Morgan. And now we have Embrace and Averny. I think what I did is that I added some extra Timberwolves because I think... Lethai Doll is a is a baby, right? Yeah, okay, so Rem and Morrigan died, so that's why I added two new adults in, if I remember correctly. So at least we can have some more babies going on and some more offspring because... Oh my goodness, you're so adorable. <laughs> you are so adorable. I love it. They're really cute. Okay, so there are Himalayan brown bears growing up, which is super sad because... Oh, we have to say goodbye to you, Dan. Anya, I'm so sorry, but I'm going to release you into the wild. We're gonna get... Oh, your golden status, that's amazing. So we're gonna release you guys to the wild. We have Daja, which is also growing up. There you go. Wow, that went really fast. So I'm gonna release you to the wild too. And then we have Muffin and Esha right over here enjoying their meals. And you guys are still able to get some more offsprings, right? 100%, that's incredible. Okay, so you had two times offspring already. There should be one baby in this habitat more, if I remember correctly. Do I? Am I right? I thought we had three Himalayan brown bear babies, but I'm not really sure. Uh, we can check right over here. The barrier status, we should call a mechanic to fix this. Oh no, we only have Muffin and Asher. Okay, perfect. Okay, what I'm gonna do, because to be honest, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather right now, so I'm not feeling super well. I and mean, you probably can notice a little bit about my, <laughs> how I talk and I don't know, I'm not feeling super well. So I'm just going to end it for now. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I really hope that in the next episode we can see... Oh, did you play with your grandpa? Oh, we missed that. Shoo! I really hope in the next episode we can see some really beautiful reindeer babies because these guys are so pretty and so cute and I can't wait to see some babies of the beautiful reindeer. That would be super amazing. So yeah, uh, do let me know in the comment section what you guys think of these beautiful reindeers and I really can't wait to read your feedback. I'm very sorry that I'm not feeling super well today. I really hope I feel better tomorrow, else I will take a few days off again to just uh, feel better because it has been such crazy weeks the last few weeks and Christmas and yesterday was my birthday and I also wasn't feeling well so I didn't upload because of that and uh, yeah, it's <laughs> it just has been super crazy weeks but I really hope you guys understand and uh, just make sure to check my youtube schedule the link is in the description if i'm not going to upload i will just remove it and make a note for you guys so you guys know what to expect 
uh, yeah, but these kind of things like not feeling well, it's mostly coming to the day itself if I feel good enough or not to record for you guys. So yeah, bear with me. Hopefully everything will be fine. Beautiful reindeers, we have them in our zoo and we didn't go bankrupt, which is just really amazing. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed. And I just really hope to see you guys in the next episode. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.